Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you the code to retrieve the YouTube thumbnail image using OEMBED SEF custom field. And the second code is uh, it will get the duration of the video and then we're gonna uh, return it uh, then display it on our uh, builder so uh, I have uh, take a look here I have the custom post type called video and then I have added a custom field uh, OMB uh, which I name a URL uh, YouTube So let's start uh, from the first code. Uh, you're gonna go to my uh, GitHub page and then find the Bricks template repositories. Then go to the Bricks snippet the PHP. Then scroll down, and you will see that uh, there is a comment with a retrieve YouTube thumbnail and set is as a feature image. So you're gonna just copy this. And then pass it to your function file on temp child on temp child folder it's here uh, this is the field key of your OMBED uh, field mm, let's see here field group video detail here so this is your just copy this field name then pass here and save and let's try so I'm gonna retrieve the thumbnail for this uh, video I'm gonna pass this right and i'm gonna set the title just a random title title a and set it the description oops then let's publish the feature image should replace by this one right see now the feature image has changed but uh, i don't like because uh, the thumb the, the youtube thumbnail generate uh, the image that uh, it has a black space on the top and the bottom i don't like it i'm just i'm just gonna change it's uh, something like this then let's go to our next function uh, just go to my github and we're gonna get the duration of the video here you, you will see on the line 136 you will get see the get id OMBED SCF so you just copy all this then pass it to your function file I will put the the resource the reference uh, of all this code so you can learn from that The thing is, uh, you need to replace this uh, with your actual field name. So just replace this with this one. 
and then uh, you're gonna change this to your YouTube data API key which you can get it if you register on the Google Cloud console so if you if you don't have it just register um, it will uh, ask you to provide some information and the most important is you need uh, to have a CC to get the to get to to register on the Google Cloud console and then just change this to your API API key and then we're gonna uh, retrieve the function by using the uh, short code echo oops and pass the function name something like this just save it and I'm gonna change this to my API but I will not show to you guys Wait. Hmm. I forget to put my API API key. Okay. Okay, I have uh, replaced the API key and let's see the result okay, where is the video here I now I have a uh, duration of the video which is uh, as you can see the, the duration is a 29 minutes and 37 seconds 29 minutes and 30 seconds 7 okay let's work and let's add another a video to make to make sure it's working or not and we're gonna get this video oh. title B put the URL Right, and let's publish. And let's reload. The duration is a six minutes and a five t seven second. Six minutes and five t seven second. Yeah, that's working. And let's check the actual. Okay, since this is my archive page, and let's check the actual category archive page. And here the video. Yeah, the the query, the post, uh, the loop, the post loop is missing because uh, I need to merge. or yeah this this it say that you'll be able to decide if a certain element query should be merged with the wordpress main query in the archive or search template using the following filter and since the video since the post on the my custom loop is not uh, is different from the main query here this is the post uh, post type so this okay and the video and the post is different then I'm gonna use this function to make it 
uh, to make the custom loop showing do it okay get here and just copy the function and then change this uh, ID into my actual ID where is the ID of the query loop right so my ID is Z J C P J K Z J C Z J J J J K Right, just save it Then let's reload Oops, why is it not showing? Z C C. It should be here. <laughs> it should be like this. Yeah, it's reload and okay. Now the uh, my custom query loop on the archive page is working, and we get a nice duration on the below, and we get a feature image automatically uh, retrieve on the f on the uh, post editor here, and it will come handy if if you have a website which show a lot of videos and maybe you want to show the duration information to the user of your website <coughs> so i think uh, that's all enough for today and you can uh, copy the code uh, by click by visit the my github repository i will put the link on the description and if you have any question and suggestion uh, please write on the comment box below or you can uh, reach me on my email or my facebook and thank you for watching and happy coding